Hello, River of Life family. I'm excited today to bring a, a few words of encouragement to you today. I will be looking forward to us coming together in person, hopefully soon. But for now, I want to remind you to talk to yourself. <laughs> and I'm not talking about the talking to yourself we might be doing more of while we are in quarantine. I'm kidding. But I am talking about talking to your soul. We see that David did this in Psalm 42, 5. It says, Why, my soul, are you downcast? Why so disturbed within me? Put your hope in God, for I will yet praise him, my Savior and my God. We see this verse rep repeated in verse 11 and in the next chapter or in the next Psalm 43, verse 5 again. We also see from the surrounding verses that David was facing some sort of trouble and he was feeling downcast. It might be a little bit like how we feel right now. Things aren't going quite the way we would like them to go and it is it is difficult, but I, but I want us to do what David did and remind ourselves, talk to your soul and remind your soul of the promises of God, that they are true. You know, the promises of God are yes and amen in Jesus. And that is a promise. And we can know that God is not man that he should lie. And we know that because he kept his promises to Israel, he will keep his promises to us. There are a great many promises that he has spoken over us in his word. And we can know for sure that they are true. And so I encourage you today to not let your feelings guide you. But when you begin to feel downcast, you talk to your soul and remind your soul of the truth that God is good, that he loves you, that he has a plan and a purpose for you. But more importantly, that he's working. We know this because Jesus said, my father is always at work. And it is true. It's a phenomenon I've been thinking about lately quite a bit, that God is working. And I want to encourage you, through prayer, we can partner with what God is doing. What an exciting opportunity but I digress. <laughs> I want to encourage us to read God's word and spend time in God's word, growing deep roots in the truth that is God's word. But don't just do that. Memorize it. Speak it over yourself. I also post it on the walls and different places in my home where I can see it. I've done that with several different ones, reminding myself whatever is, whatever, all things that are true and noble, right, pure, lovely, admirable, if anything is excellent or praiseworthy, think of these things. And that is something that we can all do in this time. And so I want to encourage you, when you feel downcast, talk to your soul and remind your soul that Jesus is good. And that we have this hope as an anchor for our souls, sure and steadfast. He is so good. May you be blessed today. And may you all grow closer to him and grow stronger in the truth of Jesus Christ. Thank you.